All right, what's up, man? Who do we have here today? You can call me Raven. Raven, okay, okay, okay. And um, what, <laughs> <laughs> what, where do you live at, Raven? Where are you from? I live in Arizona. <laughs> Arizona, I. Is it boring? It sounds boring. I'm not gonna. Lie. It is kind of boring. It's just a bunch of deserts, and it's really fucking hot. <laughs> oh wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely hot out there. Yeah, for sure. I'm tripping. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of horse riding in Arizona. Like why? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun here. <laughs> wow. Okay, so um, you kind of already know what we're going to be talking about. Drop it on us, you know, whenever you're ready. And don't go too fast. Don't rush it, okay? All right. So, about... I've been friends with this one girl for about four... Since, like, four years ago. I was best friends with her all of my high school. Pretty much all four years of high school. And her and I were really, really close all four years. And... Things started to change around my junior year of high school when I met a boyfriend and we'll give him fake names. So <laughs> my best friend would be, we'll call her, we'll just call her L for now. <laughs> and then we'll call my ex-boyfriend uh, J. So L, she, um, she was kind of the person where she would be a little bit too involved in the relationship when she had no place to be. <laughs> we all know people and like then, that. Yeah. <laughs> she was kind of like the overprotective kind of friend and very momish kind of person. No, nothing wrong with that. I thought yeah. it was like endearing <laughs> a little bit. And when I met this, um, when I met Jay, things were really good and I obviously wanted him to meet everyone including my family and my friends and Ella was included in that and they got along very well they clicked like instantly and I didn't really say anything wrong with it or anything like that and I was like oh cool they're really good they could be really great friends this, this is gonna be great and then him and I like dated for about four months because during the third month something changed especially in her yep so what happened was one day she asked me if well he asked me first actually so jay asked me first if they can hang out and i was like okay what do you guys plan on doing <laughs> so jay asked me very kindly if they could hang out and they were getting pretty close and i was like oh i mean okay what do you guys plan on doing and he goes oh eating snacks and watching anime and i was like Okay. What? I mean, sure, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And it was like he said this to me like two weeks prior, just to like ask respectfully. I was like, okay, all right. And then so L, she didn't ask me till like two days before, and then she was telling me how she was planning on hanging out with him, but it felt a little bit uncomfortable because you know it's my boyfriend or whatever. And she was like, oh, could you go with me? And I said, yeah, I would love to. You just have to tell me because, you know, I have to work. So I would have to take that off beforehand. Yeah. And then go with you or whatever. But she never asked again. She was supposed to ask him if that was okay bringing me along. Yeah, of like, it's, of course it's okay. It's your boyfriend. <laughs> and that's your friend. Yeah, but... I didn't want to, like, intrude since it was their plans. Their original plan was just them two. So I didn't want to intrude in that. What? I wanted him to be, like, okay with that. <laughs> How, as weird as it sounds. Yeah, you see how that sounds now. Like, you know, you can look back on it and be like, what was I thinking? Like, I let them, I was yeah. going to let them to be alone. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that till later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what happened? The day came. She never asked me to come. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to go work and I'll be okay. And then so... I didn't talk to them for the rest of the day because I was busy working. None of them texted me. I was like, okay, whatever. And then I did see that day she posted on her story with like them posing together. Not really like bad. It didn't seem like really bad. It was more like friendly. But one thing I did notice is that she did post on her Instagram or whatever, maybe a few days or some time after. And she was actually, I didn't realize this, she actually kept his jacket no way yes way <laughs> wow and she's super bold with it like she's supposed to be your friend 
and then she's doing this and posting on Instagram and te- not even telling you, you know what I'm saying, not breaking you and asking if it's okay, asking him, like, if you're his girlfriend, you should have been there regardless, and you should have said no. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like, <laughs> what? Go with her alone and eat snacks. You don't even do that with me. <laughs> like, what the heck? That guy, that guy, yeah. boy, he's different. Yeah. He is different. <laughs> Yeah, things get a lot more complicated wow. <laughs> after that day. So around 8 to 9 o'clock, um, that's when I, you know, my shift ended or whatever. And I am, she, Elle, texted me and, well, actually, no, I texted her correction and I asked her how the hangout was. I was like, oh, did you guys have fun, you know, or whatever. She's like, yeah, we had fun. I'm like, okay, cool. And I asked him the same thing, and he said, yeah, it went great, you know, we just watched it, and it was fun. However, for some reason, my dumb ass didn't think she went over to his house, home alone. So they were home alone together. <laughs> I'm sorry. And this is, this is just, okay. I mean, I'm a little stupid. I should have thought of that. <laughs> well, let's just say I was a little oblivious. You were just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're just a little oblivious. You know what I'm saying? You didn't think that they would do that to you, which is expected. Yeah, you know, I, you're didn't su- think, I didn't think about yeah, it you, too you, much. Yeah, you shouldn't expect the worst all the time. So you just learned a lesson and, you know what I'm saying? Now you go have your guard up just a little bit. A lot more. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then a few days after the hangout and, you know, nothing happened. And, you know, that thing was said, everything was normal until a few days after. Um, she called me telling me, she goes, Hey, there's something I need to tell you. And I'm like, Okay, what do you need to tell me? And she was like, <laughs> She's like, um, Your boyfriend sexually assaulted me. And I'm like, Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, replay that for me again. And then, so she said it again. I think he sexually assaulted me. And I'm like, Okay. I need to sit down for a second. You mean to tell me he sexually assaulted you? And she's like, yes. I'm like, okay, tell me what happened. And so from her side of the story, it all started when she like, she came there around like one to two o'clock out of assumption. That's when she went over there. And she told me some scenarios that she feels like that he did sexually assault her and that one situation, those few situations where um, there was one moment where, you know, she she was interested in someone at the time, so she was like, you know, texting them, and he was like, oh, who you texting? And she's like, oh, no one, and you know, kind of the playful, like, oh, I'm not talking to anyone, kind of thing. Yeah. And then apparently they were wrestling with each other, and at one point, like, he pinned her down, but she like, you know, contributed in that out of her own confession and then she said she felt uncomfortable by it he was the kind of guy you know he would vape a lot and he would be interested in drugs if like if the opportunity came he would like test them you know just be curious about them so he took half a pill i think or a full pill of the medication i don't know why he did but he did out of her own mouth and then she took whatever medication she needed for her injury and it was a depressant so it made you really sleepy so she started getting like really sleepy and was like, you know, trying to sleep on the floor, on the hardwood floor or whatever. And then he said, oh, don't sleep on the floor. Like that's no, not very comfortable or whatever. And then she said, no, it's fine. And started like drifting to sleep. And so he carries her onto his bed and apparently starts playing with her hair and just, you know, doing whatever he was doing, like watching something. I don't know what it those were the two situations I remember most her saying and talking about and saying like how she felt like she was sexually assaulted. Obviously, I was skeptical with that because if those are the only situations you're telling me that you're telling me like that's the sexual assault, I'm questioning it a exactly. little bit. I don't like, you know, being the type of person to be like, you know, automatically take one person's side or anything. So, you know, I asked him, you know, get his side of the story like, hey, like what happened that day? like. Or whatever. So, you know, I had a conversation with him, and he was like, at first, he was like, oh, well, if she says it's true, then it's true. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Wait, what? what do you mean? I, yeah, those were his words. Like, if she says it's true, then it must be true. That was his words. What the f- Dude, what's going on? I'm confused. Like, so you want to go to jail, buddy? Like, know. who would say that? I have no clue. I don't know why I that think, was his first response. <laughs> yeah, I think you were way out of your element with these people that you were hanging around with. 
and every because it it's very confusing you know it should not be that confusing and that hard to just grasp a conversation with a guy like what is he talking about <laughs> it's just uh, yeah yep. yeah that's how you know that wasn't for you um and then you say they did drugs and stuff like i don't even know yeah it gets just really bad after that point oh i'm sorry just keep going i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cut in no more <laughs> it's okay so um with her so after i talked to him about it and more i got a little bit more information where later on he told me maybe a year later i got more closure on it where i did actually ask him once again because you know i was busy during that year period so him and i didn't talk for a while but then we reconnected and i asked him about it so his new response pretty much was that he kind of was like he didn't want it to say how like she felt and didn't feel like he like he didn't want to say that she didn't if that's how she felt like he didn't want to be like oh no i didn't like do that thing she's like lying or whatever because like she didn't he didn't want to invalidate how she felt. oh okay so that's why he said it because he didn't want to invalidate how she so felt. he knew he must have did something wrong and was touching her or something i have no clue yeah Maybe he, that's he true. yeah he know. knew he was doing something wrong because i know that if i didn't touch you in a sexual way or try to sexually assault you and you say that i did i'm not gonna be like oh if yeah if that's how she feels i know i didn't do that to her you know what i'm saying that's wrong yeah that's why and, it confused me yeah so you know what i'm saying i'm with raven i'm not with you so ooh, i don't know what you're talking about you know yeah i honestly don't know why i have my suspicions but he's told me that what she say like what she like what she was saying those did happen but he doesn't like he says he's kind of like a touchy person with all of his friends that's kind of his like demeanor he likes to like hug and like you know other people yeah he's very like touchy in that sense not like in an appropriate sense, but like a friendly, like, you know, and I kind of know that's who he is. He does it with all of his friends and he kind of, I think, because he's told me he found like her as a friend. So he thought it was okay. And she didn't say anything wrong about it at the moment. Oh, she yeah. Didn't say anything to yeah, that, about it. that does happen. Yeah. And so he thought it was okay and he didn't realize it wasn't okay until I said something to him because she never told him. And I was like, okay makes sense whatever she um got really mad at me because i wouldn't break up with him like immediately because i talked it out with him and i said okay i can get past it like like or whatever and i talked to her more about it and she wouldn't really like she wouldn't communicate at all she would just get really mad at me happy you're out of that situation though are you are you doing better <laughs> yeah it took me a long time to get over it just because like i don't know what happened i don't want to assume what happened i don't want to assume something did or didn't happen i did feel like something did happen I told her i'm not taking any sides because i don't know what happened that day and you both are giving very different stories another part of the story is that he ended up sexually assaulting me at the end of it and i ran to her for support to like you know get some help and be like because it was after like that same night like i was like really upset about it and all she could tell me was now you know how it feels wow That's that what she told me i was literally just about to end the video off and that just took a whole nother turn <laughs> holy crap yeah after that yeah. i figured it she wasn't the person i thought she was those years ago wow Give it up for Raven, man. Holy crap. That is, um, that's very different. Um, and one last thing. What can you tell people that have went through this, you know, sexual assault? How, how can they get over these things? What, is, what can help them? I think, um, it took a lot of time for me to heal. And I did a lot of self-reflecting. And I did a lot of things to help myself by, you know, indulging in my hobbies. And kind of cutting out those people that did hurt me so i cut him and her out of my life it took me a while but i finally was able to cut them out a year later and once they got out of my life it made me realize that they weren't worth my time so i think just cutting out everyone that kind of leeches on your life and does more harm than good it's not worth keeping and i think realizing your boundaries and realizing you know, your worth is what's really important and it's gonna help your mental health tremendously. I also went into therapy and paid for therapy to kind of get over that situation. I forgive them for what happened. 
person and I think it's very important to learn that like it takes time but I also I think a good thing is to be able to forgive you don't have to forget like I will never forget the situation but I will forgive them I forgive them both for what happened that, it doesn't really matter what happened that is greatly said and that's exactly what you have to do guys forgive thing give forgive people you know what I'm saying because it it that way it won't have a hold on your life and your future you know what I'm saying you have to move on from it and it's hard to do it's you know easier said than done but you you are com you are completely right um that was that was amazing and well said for sure i really respect that um one last thing i will say is just always make sure that you come first no one else should come first before you because at the end of the day it's your life it's your story only you can write your own story love you guys bye peace